All right. Um, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar. And uh, this one is from another one of our favorites, Anton Daniels. We start a lot of his videos starting to pop up now. And uh, this one's titled "Why Am I Single at 31 Years Old? I Have Money." Woman with neck tattoo wonder why she's not married. I don't think the neck tattoo, the neck tattoo, is uh, the sole reason she's not married. But I digress. I don't know. We're gonna see. Get into it. You know, uh, Anton always got a lot to say. But, uh, yeah, y'all hit that uh, subscribe button. Help your boy out. I appreciate that for real. And uh, let's get started. I'm 31. I don't have any kids. I got a credit score of 803 exact. Recently pulled. I have. Damn. She need to. Uh, She's saying all that. She's going she gonna to find a nigga that's, that's going to get all that off of him. <laughs> Two paid off cars. I'm about to close on my first house this year in May. I'm not toxic at all. I got a big booty. I'm releasing an app on iOS and Android. I work hard as fuck. I'm not clingy, but I'll always make sure my partner feels appreciated. Okay, so I don't cook, but I can. I can learn. And it's not like I don't know how to cook, but I just don't cook as much as I should. I'm probably not as feminine as the average feminine female, but I, I wear heels. I Boom. That's what it is. She's not feminine. That's it. That's the answer right there. I dress up. I just feel like I have a very dominant personality. There you go. Right there. She done told on herself. I'm 5'8 in my head, but 5'4 on paper. I've never actually lived with a partner before. I'm just trying to figure out how am I not married with five kids running around? Like, what the fudge? Am I doing wrong? Most people say, oh, I don't give people a chance. Yes, I do. I have boundaries, though. And I don't let people fuck me over. I'm going to say more than three times because I give chances. I even give you a second chance. But it's so easy for me to just walk the fuck out once you start playing with me. But I still don't understand how I'm still single. Well, let me give you some insight as to why it is that you're still single. And I'm going to meet you with love. First of all, Usually what happens with women is that they lead with all of the qualities that they feel like is good about themselves. And the first thing that I have to ask myself is, who told you that you were awesome, right? Because <laughs> I'm sure that if we ask people that have interacted with you, whether it's the people that's the closest to you or people that you've previously been in a relationship with, I'm sure they can point out just as many red flags, if not more, or issues, by the way, as you've pointed out, that's beneficial about you. And so the first thing that I think that women have to understand, and I think that this is probably a flaw amongst men too, and I'm gonna explain why quickly. Um, I think that the first thing that women have to understand is that we don't really care about how awesome you think you are or how productive you think that you are or how successful financially that you think that you are. And I think that men do, they should care. Now that doesn't substitute from the things that really matter, such as character, personality, student loan debt, you know, all of those things need to be vetted through also. Because just because you are productive, just because you got a good job, just because you, uh, you think that you're thriving, don't mean that you understand money or you understand uh, productivity or that you're not basically saddling us with issues going into a relationship. But again, we'll get into that later. I think that men need to start vetting women for more than just the things that we like about them, but we also need to make sure that we equally yoke because I think that it's a lot of guys that get get into relationships, <clears throat> get into relationships and they do get with broke hoes or, and I'm not saying that she's a hoe because she's giving me no indication that she's a hoe, but I'm just speaking in general. They do get with broke hoes. They do get with women as, um, you know, they'll substitute their peace and femininity, which is easy to be a chameleon with. But you also need a woman that, you know, is not busted, that does understand finances, that don't have a whole bunch of student loan debt. So that matters. But another thing that she said, for example, is what her credit score is. Somebody like me that understand money don't really care about your credit score. Now, the credit score is important in that you want to make sure that you're not delinquent on everything. But then again, I don't necessarily care about your credit score because I don't need to leverage your credit for anything. Like that doesn't mean anything to me. All that does is tell me and we need to stop leading with credit score as a part of the conversation event for whether or not somebody can be 
um, in a successful relationship is that you are a good borrower. It just means in a sense that lenders want to lend money to you so that you can pay a bunch of interest on things that don't really impress me. And so if you don't understand how to leverage money correctly or manage money correctly, then what difference do it make? I'd rather have a woman um, that that's frugal and understand how finances work than a woman that has a great credit score because a credit score don't mean anything. It's easy to get a great credit score. Like literally, you can go get trade lines to get a great, great credit score. So that doesn't qualify you, right? And then she started to give you some of the red flags that most women usually have. Dominant, which basically means masculinity and that is one of the biggest red flags because I'm not about to be arguing back and forth with you. I'm not about to be going back and forth with you. You combine that with the fact that she didn't say I'm looking for a man or I'm looking for a husband. She said I'm looking for a partner, meaning that she thinks that she's on the same level as you. And so you got to be able to read between the lines to understand what women are really communicating. And if you let them talk long enough, they'll tell you why they're single, right? You can't be 31 years old state all these qualities that you think that's awesome about yourself and think that it's not going to be a man to simp out or it's not at least one person that missed out on you that was a good man and then you probably friend zoned him and you telling me you missed out on every every guy passed you up all the way up until 30. so from 18 you can even go all the way back to high school because i'm sure that it was guys in high school that you was checking for so let's just say 18 right just for the sake of conversation from 18 all the way up into 31 so you got 14 years probably going on 15 years and everybody just seen you and was like, eh, not really a big deal. <laughs> I mean, you could literally Damn. look at her from the outset and say, oh, okay, masculinity, tattoo on the neck, just like every typical chick, butterfly eyelashes, got a whole sleeve. Yo, the guys that I know, they don't want that. The guys that are high level guys that you probably seek in the top 1% of guys, they're not interested in seeing a whole neck tattoo because see when i introduce you to my partners uh that's you know a part of the corporate place that i work at or i start to introduce you to my business people it just don't go over well you know and so a lot of y'all have been making bad permanent decisions for your whole life based off of a temporary emotion and then you asking yourself well why aren't i or why don't he or why am i not well it's a lot of reasons for that and when you combine all of those reasons up and you start to really evaluate, okay, the sum total of this, this red flag equates to issues, problems, trouble, and then it doesn't necessarily translate into success for most guys, especially the women that's seeking these type of guys that's in the top 1%, and they all going for the same ones. Why would they even entertain it? Because what you think is a benefit is not necessarily the thing that he's seeking. I don't really care about most of the stuff, 90% of the stuff that you said. And then the other stuff that you said, that's your reasonable service. You're supposed to be a responsible adult. You're supposed to not have busted up credit, especially if it's just based off of consumer debt and not you taking a, a, a an investment risk that went bad or something like that. You know what I'm saying? The context matters. So when women say, yo, I did this, or I'm about to do that, or I'm a productive human being, okay, so you're human, you're normal, you know how to pay your bills that don't qualify you above anybody else that does the same thing and then when i start to look at the context clues and, and the, the fact that she say that she got a low tolerance level and she basically are translating this into being a boss chick and you know her mindset masculinity talking about she want a partner and then you look at the tattoos and all of this stuff and listen i'm not saying that you're a bad person but you put this out, and so I think it's important for you to understand how men think. There are certain things that we want and we look for, and then other things we have to pass on because it doesn't align with the direction that we go on in our life. And when you think about what being successfully married and equally yoked is, I think a lot of people think of that just with finances. So a lot of women will lead with a lot of these things that they think that we want, that they think that we want, but they're not asking you what you want. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, that the man that she's looking for is nothing like any of this stuff that she's describing. The man that she's looking for is nothing like any of these things that she's describing. But, but they'll continue to live in their own head rent free and they will get no payments and no bites and no hits and they probably already passed up on the thing that's best for them.
but that's just my opinion. I'm curious. Do you guys think that that's an accurate depiction of what it is that most women are leaning with? Or do you think that I'm wrong? I'm always open to the possibility that I'm wrong. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. We're doing some phenomenal things in there. We just did Stock Club. I just re-uploaded that for y'all on Monday so that y'all... Uh, I ain't really got no rebuttal on this one. I mean, she did talk long enough and start snitching on herself. But it's just like... Um, another thing I do want to say is that a lot of women think that those top two percent of men care about all like like he said they don't like my dad is one of those men and when i talk to him about the women that he would want to settle down with is none of is none of that shit they don't care about none of that they care about if you can cook like all the women that that do get to stick around they're the ones cooking for us the whole family cleaning up the house like very simple very traditional old school type of woman like they have jobs they have good credit scores and they have all this stuff but they when they around him they are cleaning massaging that nigga making sure he's straight you know what i'm saying like just all types of shit even my mom like when my mom was alive like she was the one like when he would come home, she was making sure the house was super clean. He ate a home cooked meal every, and this is when he was traveling, working. He had a home cooked meal every time, every day he was there. You know what I'm saying? Only time we ate out unless he took us out. Like it's, it's really a night and day difference when you uh, sit down and talk to the type of men that these women want and that they're going after. And what they want versus what they think they, what the women think they want is insane. And, you know, I, and I know just cause I live with one, you know what I'm saying? I talk to them, like, you know what I'm saying? I, and so like the reason I can put my input on a lot of this stuff is cause I'm around it. So, you know, uh, anyway, Anton really don't ever, uh, have enough for me to rebut. You know what I'm saying? I can add on to it, but he really had everything nil, nil on the head. Anyway, YouTube, y'all come over here to Twitch. Fuck with your boy. Y'all subscribe to your boy. You like the content. I'll holla at y'all later.